Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. Now about a year ago I did some tests using an ultrasonic cleaner that a friend of mine had lent me and recently I was contacted by James Products to uh, see if I'd like to have a go at using a couple of their products. So they very kindly sent me two different ultrasonic cleaners. We have one here on the left which is pretty similar to the one that I used before. This is sort of a, a basic home edition version of an ultrasonic cleaner. Holds about 750 mils of water and has a little basket inside that you put the uh, put whatever you want cleaned in and uh, just set it going and then on the right they sent me this which is their sort of professional uh, ultrasonic cleaner it's much bigger it has a heater in it it heats the water to whatever temperature you want and it has a much bigger basket and area for putting a whole load of sort of bits and toys in the top of it so they've asked me just to basically give it a go and see what I can use these for and see if uh, how well they clean toys so I've been collecting up toys you can see here I've got piles and piles of Star Wars figures that I picked up recently at various toy fairs and none of these have been clean these are all sort of as dirty as I got them from the toy fairs and I've also picked up a load of Action Man boots these are all pretty filthy you can see this is a space boot which is really quite dirty now I previously tried doing uh, action figures in it and the, the one I tried on worked quite well but I never tried doing sort of action man stuff and I thought I'd give it a go with some clothes as well because another thing I'm always cleaning here is the clothes for action figures now this is the jumpsuit that I uh, showed in a recent video for uh, doing a space ranger and this was the one that I put on the figure in the end and the one that I cleaned in some hot soapy water and it still had a few marks and stuff in it so I thought I'd try that as well just to see uh, if that could be got any cleaner now the idea with ultrasonic cleaners is that you don't really put any soap in them it just uses ultrasonic waves to generate bubbles which dislodge all the dirt so I'm hoping it will do a really grand job on things like this uh, and I've also got some quite interesting sort of dirty figures here as one of them this is a uh, x-wing pilot you can see it's got sort of pen or I think that might even be crayon or something on it and again these are all sticky so I thought maybe uh, the ultrasonic cleaner would help sort of shift some of that so it's uh, certainly worth trying uh, and with this uh, professional one you are allowed to put a bit of soap in it so I'm going to uh, try it without soap and then I've just got some bog standard this is just sort of everyday uh, dish soap so I'll put a few drops of that in and we'll see if it works this home edition one you just put warm sort of warmish water in and just go for it don't have to do much with it this one as you can see has a little gauge on the front and you can actually set the temperature of the water so I've set the temperature of this to 40 degrees so it's quite warm uh, because obviously when I normally wash figures I use warm soapy water so I thought we'll, we'll set this one to a higher temperature this is just straight out of the tap so it's sort of lukewarm water so I'm going to try and pick figures that sort of are roughly similar so let's start with some uh, Star Wars figures I've got a few here you see I've got a couple of uh, X-Wing pilots those are both relatively dirty and that's the one with the uh, crayon on it and then I've got a couple of other figures this cleaner on the left has a smaller volume so I can only put a few figures in that one whereas this one on the right I can actually put a whole load in so I think I'll, I'll sort of load this one up with a lot more figures and we'll just see how well it works so let's uh, load them up and get them going so I've got a couple of figures to put in this one on the left Maybe I can fit one more in. You sort of want them to get into the water. You don't really want them floating on top. That is the problem with Star Wars because they do tend to float. And then I've got five figures to put in this one. The water in this one is warm, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful. It's at 40 degrees, so uh, it's fairly warm. They seem to sink a bit better in this one. I guess it must be the water temperature. And we'll put the lid on. And we'll shut that one down. And then we'll uh, set the timers. So I've got both timers set for this one's at 180 seconds and this one's at three minutes so if I press on that one starts and I'll press on on this one and we'll just leave them going. So that's been three minutes we'll take some out and uh, have a look at them let's start with the uh, home edition one here. This has a little uh, tray on it so you can just easily take the figures out. Just give them a little shake down so there's not too much water on them. Let's put those there and have a look, see what they look like. Well, they certainly are a bit cleaner. The dirt is now rubbing off them. It hasn't actually come off fully. But I think if I rub them with a cloth, that will come off quite nicely. Yeah, that's not too bad. that a little wipe down see how clean that little uh, x-wing luke is yeah he doesn't look bad at all actually that's got quite a lot of the grime out of it let's look at this other one i put in uh, general Medine. we'll give him a rub down as well 
And again, actually, he looks pretty clean. I can't see much dirt left on him. There's a few little paint scuffs, but again, those won't come off even with scratching with a fingernail, so those are pretty ground in. But the actual figure, that's looking really nice. And I've got an earless Greedo here as well. Yeah, he's looking pretty good, pretty clean. There's a few little marks on him. We're going to think these are sort of more paint scuffs than actual dirt. So yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Um, let's take a look at the one that's in the uh, more professional cleaner and see what those are like. So this is uh, done with the hotter water. This is actually uh, at 40 degrees. You can see the temperature here on the front. It actually says it's at 46 degrees now, so it's quite warm. Uh, but again, it has a little tray in it, so I can just lift it up. This is a bit like uh, a deep fat fryer tray. I'll shake off the excess water and we'll take the figures out. Like so. Now the worst one of these was probably this Luke X-Wing. You can see overall the figure is looking good. He still has dirt on his head there, that's the crayon. But I would have thought that is now probably loose enough that we can just wipe that off. Give it a go. Actually no, that's not coming off there. Maybe that's more ingrained. Maybe that does actually need a bit of light for it. The rest of the figure is actually looking really nice. It's just that little dirty mark there that still seems to require something extra. But the rest of the figure is looking good. And these figures are actually quite nice and warm now. So you can feel the difference in the temperature there. How's this uh, Tuscan Raider doing? Because he was quite filthy. Again, not too bad. Still a few little bits sort of caught inside it. So I might put him through a second time. I'll put that one back in. I think with all these things, sometimes they're so dirty the, uh, that they will need a couple of goes on them. That reuse is looking pretty clean. How is uh, Admiral Akbar doing? Again, he was in quite dirty condition when he went in. He's looking lovely now. It almost looks like a brand new figure. So that one's cleaned up really nicely. And then we have a couple of others. We have a near numb. Now this guy, again, had quite a lot of ingrained dirt in his face, but that does seem to have come out, or at least, at least loosened enough that I can now just wipe it out with the cloth. Yeah, he's coming up quite nice. Just needs a little rub over and it's fine. Yeah, that's almost, again, almost a brand new figure. Now this Luke seems to have had some strange sort of white sort of markings appear on his leg. I've not seen that before, but I, I, hopefully that will just wipe off. It could just be uh, dirt coming out of him. Oh yeah, look, that wipes awfully nicely. The underneath leaves a very clean looking figure. Not quite sure what those little white specks are. But yeah, he's clean, cleaned up lovely. Oh, let's give it a go on some Action Man uh, clothing and see what happens to that. So I think now let's try uh, on some Action Man shoes because I've got a pair of, uh, these are a pair of these space boots which are both pretty filthy and there's a lot of dirt inside and I'm interested to know whether the uh, cleaner will actually shift the stuff inside. So I'm going to put one space boot in each of these and I'm going to put uh, one of these uh, mountaineer boots in each and we'll set the thing going again and we'll see uh, how well it cleans those. You can see this one again there's a lot of dirt in the sort of grooves uh, and again there's a lot of dirt inside if we show them inside so uh, we'll see how well they get on cleaning that. I've also got the uh, Tuscan Raider is still sitting inside here as well uh, because he was a little bit dirty from the last time so we'll make sure those are nice and soaked up in the water. We'll put the lids back on and again this is still set for three minutes so if I press that one just to say set so uh, there we go that's now at 180 so that's 180 seconds and this one is already at three minutes so I'm going to press start on that one and start on that one and we'll just let it do its business. So it's now three minutes later let's take a look how they got on so first up we'll use the uh, smaller home edition one again just drop out all the water and there are the two boots Actually, you can see that the uh, ski boot is really clean. All of the grime has come out of that. It's, it's almost like pristine white. Incredible difference that's made. And we can look inside. Some of the dirt is still in there, but I think we can just wipe that out with a tissue or something. But the outside of it is lovely. Really, really looking almost brand new. I uh, don't think I've ever seen an Action Man boot look that new. It's quite, quite impressive. Let's have a look at the space boot. That's looking a little bit dirtier still, but I think... As you can see, it all actually rubs off just with a bit of a kitchen cloth or a towel here. So it's all loosened up. That works quite nicely. 
And there's obviously a few little marks that are actually in the plastic, which you often get with these boots. I've shown you how to remove those before. So uh, let's look inside. And again, there's a little bit inside there, but I reckon just uh, put the uh, cloth inside that and we can clean that out. Yeah, that's not looking too bad. I think I might put that one through just a second pass, but the uh, ski boot is certainly really very clean. So let's take a look at the ones in the uh, professional level uh, ultrasonic. And this has got the warm water in it. I still haven't put any soap in this. It's just uh, the warm water. So again, you can take that out. Make sure the boots are actually up the other way so there's no water coming out of them. Drop those out. There's the Tuscan Raider. So let's give this a wipe down. Again, that's looking lovely. The uh, ski boot there is really come up very, very clean. That looks uh, almost as good as a brand new boot. And again, as clean as the other one. It's nice and warm, that boot. I'm going to have a look at the other space boot. Just give that a dry down. Again, all the dirt is uh, on this one actually seems a lot looser. I guess that's the um, benefit of having the water slightly warmed. You can see all of the dirt is just wiping off on that. Yeah, and that boot looks lovely, really quite clean. And again inside, that seems to have cleaned it very, very well. So that does work nicely on the Action Man stuff. And we just wipe up the uh, Tuscan Raider while we're here. He's had dirt two goes through now. Actually does look a lot cleaner. He just, uh, that was a particularly dirty figure. So uh, just needed that extra little going through just to clean it off. So nice. Well, let's try out some Action Man clothes and see how those get on. So the Action Man clothes, I've gone through my sort of bags of bits and I've got an awful lot of clothes that I haven't washed. These are ones that I've just picked up at sort of various toy fairs. So you can see I've got a pair of uh, just sort of normal army trousers. These have got a quite a few marks and stains on them. So we're going to drop those in the uh, smaller of the two ones. I'll make sure they get wet at the uh, soak in and I've got a sort of matching pair these are equally as dirty so we'll put those in that one uh, and then again I've got two pairs of these sort of German staff officer trousers again fairly sort of similar in levels of dirt we'll just put those in and we can see how well those work and I want to actually see uh, if it can clean any better than the, the stuff I've cleaned before. So this is the Space Ranger jumpsuit that I showed you in a previous video. And this still has little marks on it and sort of stains on the legs. So we'll put that one in the uh, professional level one. Because I'm hoping that the ultrasonic sort of nature of this will be able to knock some of the grime out of this, this sort of fabric and make these look a lot cleaner. I've still not put any soap in these, so we'll just do it using uh, the ultrasonic part of it. There's no soap at all. So again, we're just going to put those on. I need to set the time on this one to 180 seconds. This one is already set and you can see the temperature is still at uh, 45 degrees. So we'll just set these going for three minutes again and see what happens. So start that one and start that one. So again, after three minutes, they have uh, should all be cleaned up. And uh, obviously with these, it's going to be harder to tell. So I'm actually just going to do uh, carefully sort of squeeze the water out and I will dry these overnight and we can have a look at them when they're dry because you're not really going to be able to tell if they've cleaned up at all uh, when they're still wet. But you can actually see that the water now is pretty filthy in there and it wasn't beforehand so that certainly tends to suggest that it's knocked quite a lot of dirt out of uh, the uh, Action Man clothes. Often when I wash these by hand in the sink the water at the end of it is a really filthy colour so I uh, it doesn't surprise me. So I'm going to make sure I keep these separate. So that's the ones used in the smaller cleaner. And we'll take these ones out here. Again, I'm just going to uh, give these a squeeze out. And again, the water in that one is actually looking pretty filthy. So that does tend to suggest it's knocked quite a lot of dirt out. I can still see some staining on this one, but this was a particularly dirty uh, outfit. Let's pull the trousers out as well. Yeah, and again, these uh, the water is pretty filthy. So let me dry these overnight and we'll take a look at them uh, when they're fully sort of dried out and we can see what they look like and see how well they've cleaned up. While we're waiting for the Action Man clothes to dry, I thought I'd do one final test and that's to put a bit of soap into the uh, professional cleaner just to see how well that works. So this is a final selection of dirty figures that I picked up at a uh, toy fair recently. So we've got a, a very dirty pencil topper Yoda. You can see there's a lot of sort of 
in ground dirt in all the little nooks and crannies there and he's got a weird sort of stain on his leg so it'll be interesting to see if that works i've got another uh, x-wing pilot luke you can, again you can see there's a lot of dirt around his face and he's got sort of marks all over him so we'll see if that uh, cleans up at all there's a few little sort of uh, paint marks there these are the normal ones that you get when figures rub together i doubt those will come off those normally come off with a bit of lighter fluid and sometimes you can scrape them off with a fingernail but all of these other little marks i would hope will clean off as a uh, wee quay actually that's a pretty clean figure i'm amazed that came out of a very dirty toy bin so uh, that's remarkably clean anyway but i'll give that one a go and then we have a chief chirper here if i take off his hood you can see there's dirt in most of his sort of fur and that so uh, that would be a good test and finally we have a gamorian guard again just general dirt it's a bit sticky because the plastic's degrading but he's just generally dirty so i'm gonna put a bit of soap into uh, the ultrasonic cleaner and we'll see how well that does i might put some of the other figures in that i've already cleaned uh, there's a couple that still have a few marks on them so we'll try them again i think there's no harm in putting them through a few times um, especially if it's sort of really in ground dirt because uh, the ones that have cleaned up so far have cleaned up very nicely so i'm just going to put a couple of drops this is just normal dishwashing soap this stuff uh, comes from tesco's or morrison's or something like that but it's basically fairy liquid so i'm going to put a couple of drops of that in i wouldn't have thought you need much because it normally goes quite a long way and with the agitation it will probably uh, end up foaming up quite a lot and then here are all the figures i'm going to dunk those in and because this is a nice big bath i can actually fit in quite a lot of figures there's probably still room for more in there but uh, I think that'll do for for this time and i'm going to put that on for three minutes again and see how much difference the soap makes to the, the cleaning process so i've got it set here at the moment the temperature is only at 31 degrees i think that is probably warm enough the other i've had it at 40 earlier but i think 31's it's still pretty warm it's certainly as warm as i would use when i normally wash figures in sort of hot soapy water and i've set this for three minutes so let's just set this going okay it's now three minutes later Let's take uh, these figures out. Again, I'm just going to take out the little, uh, what looks like a griddle pan to me. Uh, the water's got a nice sort of soapy, uh, foamy edge to it, which, uh, so the bubbles probably have made quite a difference. Take those out. Let's uh, check out. Now, I think the uh, Yoda was probably the worst one. You can see he's still got some dirt on him, but that now should just wipe away, which it does. I think still we might need a little toothbrush or something to uh, clean some of the the grime out of the really hard to get areas just because it's a pretty small figure but it's all wiping off which is what you want you you want it all to be loosened up and it really has loosened up quite a lot actually you can see how clean the back of that is just with a little bit of wiping some of the more sort of in ground areas there sort of where you've got bits of fabric that sort of folds over the top of each other a little bit harder to get to which is why a toothbrush uh, an old toothbrush might be helpful but you can actually see that's a uh, that's really cleaned up quite nicely. It's loosened it all up really well. Let's move on to some of the other figures. So we had another X-Wing Luke. Again, he was pretty sort of dirty around his face, but that's all come out quite nicely. Certainly looks, uh, looks pretty clean and feels clean. I think that's the most important thing. A lot of these figures were very sticky and they're now starting to uh, just feel like normal figures again. So I'll just dry up all the rest of these figures and then uh, we can take a closer look at them. I've now dried off all of these figures and as you can see they are looking a lot better. Uh, they've really cleaned up quite nicely. I'm not sure how much uh, difference adding the soap to the water made. It looks like just water on its own works particularly well in these ultrasonic cleaners. The soap uh, doesn't seem to add sort of that much to it obviously it does make them smell a bit nicer because obviously they've now got a little bit of a soapy smell to them but uh, overall the uh, cleaning has just uh, sort of cleaned exactly the same you can see this uh, guy's now gone through three times and uh, is looking very nice he was the one that probably had the most dirt sort of ground into him but uh, he's now just got a few little paint rubs the rest of him's looking really good and you can see here this is the luke again he's gone in a couple of times but it uh, looks very very nice again just a few paint rubs on him but uh, that's what he had to start with the dirt has all gone so i'm not as i say i'm not sure this soap makes that much difference apart from making them smell a bit nicer because some of these were a little bit on the musty side but uh, overall they are really very clean and here are the action man uniforms now these ones on the left were the ones i put in the uh, sort of smaller of the ultrasonic cleaners you can see uh, they still have a few stains on them I, 
I have to say I'm not surprised about that but they are actually remarkably clean they these didn't have any soap in the water so it was just the ultrasonic action going through and they look incredibly clean they don't have any smell to them they were a little bit musty when I first put them in uh, but they've uh, sort of cleaned up pretty nicely there's a few little marks on them that uh, haven't come out but overall they do look very good and here's a pair of the uh, German staff officer trousers those look pretty good a little bit faded but again they were faded before we put them in and then the two that I put into the more professional cleaner and again these have come out exactly the same all the sort of dirt has come out of them as you saw the water was filthy and the marks that are on here are things I wouldn't have expected to come out anyway these are sort of plastic stains and a little bit of bleaching there which was already on these trousers but they are incredibly clean now they do feel clean so that's good let's take a look at the uh, space jumpsuit as well space ranger jumpsuit this does look I have to say it does look clean there's still a few marks on it and these were marks that were really quite ingrained into the fabric anyway but it does look a little bit cleaner so uh, it's made a difference I'm sure if I put this through uh, for slightly longer it probably would have made more difference you can set the timer for varying lengths I'm just using three minutes because that seems to be a sort of a good starting point but I reckon if I put that in for a bit longer it might uh, help a bit more so uh, yeah it certainly has made a big difference well that's it really for this sort of cleaning video I'm really quite impressed with how well both of these ultrasonic cleaners work it's amazing what you can do with just uh, water you don't actually need any soap in them and I'm particularly impressed with how well it cleans some of the actual man accessories these boots have come up really lovely they're absolutely sort of pristine looking so it does really get the dirt out of things like that and also cleans the inside which is sometimes an area that's uh, pretty hard to clean on these and as for the Star Wars figures they've come out pretty nice as well they all look very good and they've lost a lot of the sticky feeling that you get with some older Star Wars figures because of the degradation of the plastic now I do want to say a big thank you to uh, James Products who very kindly sent me these two uh, ultrasonic cleaners uh, I'll put a link in the description to their website so you can see uh, where to get them from the smaller cleaner here is the cheaper option but you can only fit a few figures in at any one time and if you really want to get into it then the, this industrial size one is obviously going to be great because you can put a whole load in at once but this one is a, a lot more expensive so I'll, as I say I'll put links in the description to uh, where you can get these from I hope this video has been of interest and thanks for watching thanks for watching Toy Ploy subscribe for more great videos you can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter Facebook and Instagram